some mud and tile our back splash today. Amazing. So if you're listening at all, I already posted a video, I don't know, a week ago, tiling the two shoulder sections of this kitchen, which is my kitchen. One thing I didn't do in it is talk at all because I usually talk to myself all the time about working and stuff and I didn't think that would be appropriate, but whatever. I figured maybe I'll talk to myself or to you, and kind of give you a little indication of what I'm doing, so I'm not saying anything. So that's what I'm going to go for in this one. And if you're wondering what the background music is, it's Clay Pigeon on FMU, because that's what I listen to after a friend of mine who helps me out. Doing this kind of stuff got me kept on listening to it every day. Alright, and um, also I'm using a quarter, quarter, quarter knot trowel. These are 3 by 12 tiles. behind the post because it's notched in to accept the ends of the tile so it's kind of it's essentially they're captured behind the post so it creates a, a wraparound effect ah, this countertop is this cooktop it's a little bit of a hassle for me Okay, time to get going. Um, what I do when I dry fit these, I, is I take them off, I do them in rows, what side's up. This is center line, and then it's like left hand side, I have my stacks of rows here, and on this side I have my stacks of rows to the right hand side. Rows, laser line, center. I use e spacers, horseshoes, nice and nice and big enough. I'm not 
gonna fix seat these just yet. Turn my right hand side. Close the cut. One thing I do left to right, see one side's glazed over and the other isn't. So visually, I always do it so when you're walking in the kitchen, you're gonna catch the glazed side just in case there's any chance you're gonna see the edge of it under the grout, which is unlikely. But that's just one thing I do. See this one marked post, this one's cut to length to fit into this. That's why I'm not seating these fully just yet to make sure this is all fit in appropriately. This is doing just fine. Thanks for checking in this morning, Chicago, Illinois. There you guys are. Always nice to see you. Austin, Okay. So I'm <clears throat> my first row just to make my center line, make sure my center line is nice and centered. I'm not, you see this one's cut, if I had it up right, post, first row post noting the cut edge so when I'm doing this I'm not stressing out about it I know what I'm working with um, I don't seat these too firmly just until I get my whole row in because I'm going off my center line here and then I know I'm good All right, here we are. Row two. Center line. Right of center. Well, that's not the center line. This is the center line. That, row two, right here. I'm going to put it in without the spacers and then lift it up, which gives it that little shimmy it needs. That should be good. Next, right to center. Let me get this one space out of her in there. This one there. Yeah, these spacers are nice. I usually, I used to use the, um, or on the floors, I'd use the, the kind of the quad ones, but you don't really utilize that a lot unless you're, unless all of your um, lines are matching. And they usually aren't. Oh, it's offset, so I don't really utilize that aspect of it. And because these are just flat, one plane, really easy to clean off and reuse. And that's why I like them. All right, now that I got my first three rows on of six to these edges, I'm going to do my second set.
notch it. I gotta notch this side because I'm too small in here. So. Pass here. You want to keep your trowel about 45 degrees out and you can see as it's starting to sloth off there. That's when I come off of it. Otherwise, you're going to start dropping it and getting it everywhere. So I don't like that. I have to keep my workspace clean. I'm going to do a high pass here, a little into the rock, but my Schluter trim sits a slight overlap. So, we'll be good. One more line your notches up as best as, best as you can. There we go. Wonderful. doesn't matter. Here we go. The video never aired on television, but did circulate on social media. Down the center line. Where it's switch your pants. Funny. Introduce everybody. Wonderful. Seven oh eight. So now I'm moving into my trim zone. This is all Schluter Rondeck, which is a rounded, this is brush nickel, but it's a rounded profile. Allows you to capture it there or come around the backside and capture it there or just be flush on the top. So I have all this pre-figured out-ish. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of All right, so I'm putting my uh, my kind of decorative, I call it decorative trim pieces, but they're in here because, as you can see by the lineup of everything, I didn't want to cut one of these tiles, which are three by 12s, because this is basically an inch here. So everything else lined up just swimmingly. And I had a one inch gap because of this window drop. So everything's a decision. So I just made the decision to instead do a little bit of a decorative detail here. My laser, which worked out really well because, oops. They don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Worked out really well because the stone on top, which is not the same as this stone, but it's visually, you're not really seeing much difference. Works out well. So that's what I did. It's gonna be amazing.
Okay, we are getting close to wrapping up this project. <clears throat> I'm just back buttering the edges of these things where it sits on the trim because damn. A little bit of a mess over here. I had to do some cleaning up because it was sitting too long and it started to skim, so I scraped and reset this little pocket, which would have been fine, except it's such a tight little spot. It's not exactly as easy as I had hoped it would be. Alright, if I can find my proper tool, I am going to be doing my last one here. I'm fact weathering the just kind of the top half. I got plenty of mud squeezing out the bottom, but I want to make sure that Schluter trim up top gets seated well. And then this is going behind the post, so just in case there's not enough mud, I'd rather squeeze some out than have some missing. All right, trying to get messy. I got this pretty much wrapped up for the face. Uh, I gotta do a little cleanup. I got plenty of mud left over to do the window inset. And I gotta pull these taped in pieces here because I don't want it to bond onto the mud there. I just had to have them in position while I was seating these, but I got it all cleaned up pretty well. Just don't want it to cure onto that stone just yet because I got to get it off and then get it reseated. I'm actually going to stick a little bit of a thing in here to prop that out. Get in the right position here as much as I can. There we go. Wonderful. All right, round two. Let's see them. 